Sun's out, fun's out. If your idea of fun is screaming your lungs out anyway. Forget the beach reading, forget pina coladas. We're diving into the deep end of summer horror. We're about to rank the top 10 summertime scream fests that'll chill you to the bone even when the temperature's soaring. From masked maniacs on summer vacation to creatures lurking beneath the waves, we're counting down the flicks that prove summertime sadness is real on this episode of Ranking Rumble. Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. So we all know that October is the biggest month for horror movies, but that doesn't mean the other times of the year don't deserve some love as well. We're in the midst of summer right now, and it's almost the 4th of July as I'm filming this. So I figured I would talk about some of my favorite summer horror movies. A little criteria. I wanted to focus on movies that take place in the summer or give me that feeling of summer. I, I, I just wanted to talk about some movies that I think are fun. Look, some of these movies might seem like odd choices, but I chose 10 movies that fit the criteria, and I ranked them. With that being said, though, grab your popsicle and make your way to your seat. Let's head down to the ring. Starting us off at number 10 is The Lost Boys. Nothing quite says summer like vampires on the boardwalk, right? The Lost Boys perfectly encapsulates that sun-soaked, carefree vibe while still delivering the chills. Set in a beach town where the undead party all night, it's a horror movie that doesn't take itself too seriously. Instead, it revels in 80s neon aesthetics, catchy music, and a healthy dose of cheesy fun. The film's appeal also lies in its blend of the genres. Uh, it's part vampire flick, part coming-of-age story, and part action comedy. This mix keeps the tone light and breezy, making it a perfect watch for a warm summer night. Plus, the film's iconic scenes like the vampire hangout in the cave and the final showdown with Grandpa are just the right amount of spooky without being overly graphic. Whether you're a horror aficionado or just looking for a fun, nostalgic movie to enjoy, The Lost Boys is a guaranteed good time. Its unique blend of humor, horror, and 80s charm make it an ideal summer watch. Next up at number 9 is Ice Cream Man. We all love the cheerful jingle of an ice cream truck rolling through the neighborhood, except when that truck is driven by a deranged psychopath with a penchant for turning unsuspecting children into frozen treats. Ice Cream Man takes that quintessential summer symbol and twists it into a delightfully dark and twisted horror flick perfect for a hot summer day. The movie's appeal lies in its sheer absurdity and over-the-top gore. Clint Howard's portrayal of the titular Ice Cream Man is equal parts creepy and comical, making him a memorable villain you'll love to hate. The film's B-movie charm and campy humor provide a healthy dose of laughs to balance out the chilling moments, making it a fun and entertaining watch rather than a truly terrifying one. So if you're looking for a horror movie that's more fun than frightening, Ice Cream Man is the perfect choice. Just be warned, you might never look at the neighborhood ice cream truck in the same way again. By the way, don't forget to body slam that subscribe button so you never miss any of the heart-pounding, chill-inducing five-star matches we have here at WWH. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. Coming in at number eight is Creature from the Black Lagoon, possibly the most underrated of the Universal Monster movies. There's something inherently alluring about the cool dark depths of water on a sweltering summer day. Creature from the Black Lagoon masterfully taps into primal fear and fascination, making it the perfect aquatic horror to watch while you're chilling on the lake. This classic monster movie delivers thrills with its iconic creature design and suspenseful underwater sequences. The black and white cinematography adds an extra layer of eeriness to the Amazonian setting, transporting you to a world of mystery and danger. The film's forbidden romance between the creature and Kay adds a touch of pathos to the story, making the guilt man a tragically misunderstood monster rather than a mindless killing machine. So if you're looking for a classic horror flick that's both chilling and captivating, dive into the depths of Creature from the Black Lagoon. Just be sure to keep an eye on the water. You never know what might be lurking beneath the surface. Our number seven entrant is going to be Piranha, the original. There's nothing quite like the carefree fun of a summer getaway at a lakeside resort until a school of ravenous prehistoric piranha decide to crash the party. Piranha perfectly captures that horrifying juxtaposition, making it an ideal summer horror movie. 
The film's setting amidst sun-drenched beaches and crystal clear waters creates a false sense of security only to shatter it with the bloody chaotic mayhem. This B-movie masterpiece revels in its own absurdity, delivering over-the-top gore and deliciously cheesy dialogue. While the film doesn't shy away from gruesome underwater attacks, it maintains a lighthearted tone with its tongue-in-cheek humor and eccentric characters. It's a perfect blend of thrills and laughs, ensuring you'll be entertained even as you cringe at the sight of severed limbs. If you're looking for a summer horror movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, Piranha is a must-watch. Just remember, after watching this film, you might think twice before dipping your toes into any body of water. Number six in this ranking rumble is The Burning. Ah, summer camp. A time for carefree fun, swimming, making new friends, and gruesome murders. The Burning takes the idyllic setting of a summer camp and turns it into a blood-soaked playground for a disfigured killer seeking revenge. This slasher classic perfectly encapsulates the fears and anxieties of adolescence, making it a chilling watch for those who fondly, or not so fondly, remember their summer camp days. The film's appeal lies in its shockingly brutal kills, courtesy of special effects maestro Tom Savini. The infamous Raft Massacre scene is a masterclass in practical effects and gore, guaranteeing to make you squirm in your seat. But The Burning isn't just about shock value, it also boasts a talented young cast, including a pre-Seinfeld Jason Alexander, who bring a surprising amount of depth to their doomed camp counselors. So if you're looking for a slasher flick that is both terrifying and nostalgic, grab some marshmallows, gather around the campfire, and watch The Burning. Just remember to keep an eye out for Cropsey and his trusty garden shears. You never know who might be lurking in the shadows. Also, this won't be the last summer camp movie on this list. Coming in at number 5 is Summer of 84. This film is a perfect example of the nostalgia and anxieties of those long, seemingly endless summer days. It's a coming-of-age story wrapped in a chilling mystery, making it the ideal summer horror flick for those who yearn for the simpler times of their youth while also craving a good scare. The film follows a group of teenage boys who suspect their friendly neighborhood police officer might be a serial killer. This premise taps into the universal fear of the unknown lurking just beneath the surface of normalcy. The movie's setting in the suburban summer of 1984 adds a nostalgic layer filled with kids on bikes, walkie-talkies, and that distinct 80s aesthetic. Summer of 84 will keep you on the edge of your seat with its slow burn suspense and nail-biting tension. As the boys' investigation deepens, the line between harmless fun and real danger becomes increasingly blurred. The film's shocking twists and turns will keep you guessing until the very end, leaving you with a lingering sense of unease long after those credits roll. Next up at number four is Sleepaway Camp. I told you we weren't done with these summer camps. It's a twisted, coming-of-age story set against the backdrop of sun-drenched cabins and campfire sing-alongs where secrets simmer and tensions rise. This slasher classic delivers a unique blend of campy humor, shocking violence, and a truly unforgettable twist ending that will leave you reeling. The film's charm lies in its bizarre characters and an uncomfortable situation. From the awkward social dynamics of adolescence to the unsettling relationship between Angela and her cousin Ricky, Sleepaway Camp taps into the inherent awkwardness of growing up. The film's infamous killer is a masterclass in understated creepiness. And I'm assuming that you all know the twist, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep going. Her silent demeanor and unsettling gaze hinting at the darkness that lies beneath. So, if you're looking for a summer horror movie that's both entertaining and disturbing, Sleepaway Camp is the perfect choice. Our number three entrant in this rumble is I Know What You Did Last Summer. Sun-drenched beaches, carefree summer nights, and a killer with a hook. What's not to love? I Know What You Did Last Summer takes the quintessential summer setting and injects it with a healthy dose of suspense and terror, making it a perfect watch for those who crave thrills alongside their tan lines. This film is also perfect for the time of year it is right now as it takes place around the 4th of July. This film's appeal lies in its relatable characters, a group of friends whose seemingly perfect summer takes a deadly turn after a hit-and-run accident. The looming threat of a vengeful killer and the constant paranoia create a palpable tension that keeps you on the edge of your seat. The beautiful coastal setting, instead of providing solace, becomes a hunting ground for the fishermen with a hook, adding an eerie layer to the sun-soaked scenery. I Know What You Did Last Summer is a classic slasher flick with a touch of 90s nostalgia. It's a perfect blend of teen drama, suspense, and jump scares that will have you looking over your shoulder long after the credits roll. So grab your popcorn, turn down the lights, and prepare for a summer you won't soon forget. Our number two entrant is going to be 
Jaws. Nothing quite says summer like the beach, right? The sun on your skin, the sand between your toes, the gentle lapping of waves, until a giant man-eating shark turns your idyllic vacation into a bloody nightmare. Jaws perfectly captures that primal fear of the deep, making it the quintessential summer horror movie. I, I mean, this was the original summer blockbuster. The film's iconic score, composed by John Williams, immediately evokes a sense of dread and anticipation while the sun-drenched setting of Amity Island lulls you into a false sense of security before the terror begins. The movie's brilliance lies in its masterful use of suspense. Steven Spielberg expertly builds tension with glimpses of the shark's fin, ominous underwater shots, and the chilling screams of its victims. The limited screen time of the shark itself only amplifies the terror, leaving your imagination to fill in the gaps. The film's iconic characters from the grizzled shark hunter Quint to the young marine biologist Hooper to Sheriff Brody, they add another layer of intrigue and suspense to the story, whether you're watching it for the first time or revisiting it for the hundredth. Jaws is a timeless classic that will leave you with a lingering fear of the water. So grab your beach towel, slather on some sunscreen, and get ready for a thrilling summer adventure. Just be sure to stay out of the water. <laughs> Our final entrant in this ranking rumble is Friday the 13th. Just the whole franchise. Again with the summer camps. Swimming, canoeing, spooky stories around the campfire, and if you're at Camp Crystal Lake, a machete-wielding maniac named Jason Voorhees. The Friday the 13th franchise perfectly encapsulates the terrifying thrill of a summer gone wrong, making it the ultimate horror movie marathon for those hot summer nights. With each installment taking place during the summer months, the franchise perfectly captures the feeling of idyllic summer days that just turn into absolute nightmares. Crystal Lake with its sun-drenched shores and lush forests provides the perfect backdrop for Jason's gruesome exploits. Whether it's skinny dipping, sleeping in a cabin, or just trying to enjoy a campfire, every summer activity becomes a potential death trap in this iconic franchise. The Friday the 13th movies are a celebration of slasher tropes from horny teenagers to creative kills, making them an entertaining and often hilarious watch. The sheer number of films in the franchise guarantees hours of bloody fun, and with Jason constantly reinventing himself, you never know what to expect next. So grab your marshmallows, get the campfire ready, and prepare for a summer of terror you just will never forget. But there you have it. Those are my top 10 horror movies for the summer. There are so many to choose from, so let me know down in the comments what your favorite summer horror movie is. Let's have a conversation. Also, check out the links in the description if you're interested in Redcon 1 products or any of my merchandise over at Pro Wrestling Tees. If you enjoyed this look at some great summer flicks, be sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of the action here at WWH. And remember, in the squared circle of horror, there's no count out for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.